Hello friends, this is Cassie. Welcome to my channel. On today's video, I have a tutorial on the smoky eye. A lot of you have requested for years already like, girl, do a smoky eye tutorial and I have been procrastinating like always. So here it is. I really hope that you guys um, learn something. I really don't take that long doing smoky eyes. I feel like they're easy. They just take patience, time, and blending. So let's get started with the video. As you may or may not know, it is very recommended that you start off with your eyes when you're going to do a smoky eye, meaning like your eyebrows and then the eyeshadow, and then proceed to the foundation part. Just because many times eyeshadows can create fallout and then on top of that if it's black it'll like create fallout on the cheeks area or anywhere else and then you already have foundation on and the eyeshadow will just make a mess on your foundation and then you have to do it all over again so it's not recommended when you're creating a smoky eye it is highly recommended that you use an eyeshadow base a lot of people likes to use a black cream shadow or a black eyeliner cold eyeliner all over the lid to make it more intense and everything the eyeshadows that I'm gonna be using today it's this one's from beauty counter it comes with a duo this one is in the shade found night I don't know if they still sell this or not but beauty counter it's a very nice um, high-end brand like it's totally worth it and it has like the black shade and then a shade to blend out the eyeshadow I feel like this eyeshadow does not create as much as followed as other eyeshadows and then I recommend that you use a brush that is for the eye all over lid but it's not too big that way you can build it up same with the eyeshadow just grab a little bit of product and eventually you'll be able to build it up which is always better just because you don't want to add a lot and then it's hard to take it off. I like to apply a cold liner by my waterline. My eyeshadow just looks crazy right now but this is um, the things about doing smoky eyes like they just look so messy but the key is to blend and blend and blend until you get rid of any lines and until you are happy with the results. So I'm going to grab a blending brush and I'm going to use the shade or transition shade that I have right here and apply that on my crease then I will blend out as much as I can this will take time this will take effort this will take patience so just blend like I said until you're happy with the results Then I'll proceed to my water area or my waterline area. Then you can totally clean up. Then grab more of the transition shade and blend a lot more. As you can see the black, it's not as intense anymore. So just go over and put a little bit more of that black shadow. Of course, blend out a little bit more. And again, I still look crazy, but it's all right and all good. Now I'm going to get a highlighter. I'm gonna be using this one from Wet n Wild. This one is the Illuminating Palette in well, pink, and I'm going to use this shade over here to grab this angled brush from Luxie Brushes. It is their Detail Angled Blender. It is somewhat big, but that's perfect because I want it to grab the brow bone and a little bit further down, so it can create like an ombre effect, and it doesn't look too intense. Back again with the transition shade I'm going to blend out just a little bit more so now I'm gonna grab more of that mega glow palette shade and apply that on my tear duct now I'm going to just curl my lashes and apply some mascara then after that I will be applying some falsies 
lashes that I'm going to be using right now. These are the Dodo lashes in the style D115. So quickly, I'm going to proceed to my concealer. I'm going to be using the Fit Me from Maybelline. This is in the color 20 Sand Sable. For that, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques pointed foundation brush, but I like this one to apply concealer. And because it's pointy, you can clean up the under eye area super good. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Going to blend it out with the my makeup brush set brush oval brushes. Set my concealer, I'm going to be using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and this one it's in the shade Naturally Beige. I'm also going to be using the My Makeup Brush Set Oval Brush. This is from their 10 piece set. To contour my face, I'm going to be using this bronzer from Beauty Counter as well. This one is in the shade number one. And the brush that I have here is Luxie 620 Angled Sculpting Brush. The brush is from Sephora in the shade Heated. I'm also going to be using the Illuminating Mega Glow Palette for my highlight. For this one, I'm going to mix it all together. I'm going to be using the Joy Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in No Set. This is my favorite shade for the fall. And I love it because it stays on the lips all night long. So this is the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed, that you learned something new again and thank you so much for stopping by. I noticed so much people um, Google me or search me. That's what YouTube tells me. Like usually people or the views that I get, it's from people that search me. So don't search anymore. Subscribe so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I usually tell you guys there whenever I upload any video. That's all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Kisses!